Back in January of 2016, there was a post to the Paranormal subreddit by a user who used a throwaway account to tell the story of how he and one of his friends found a strange effigy in the forest in the Catskill Mountains. They did what you're never supposed to do, and they took the effigy home with them. A majority of the objects in the museum have been donated, and a lot of them come to us from clients or people that we've worked with or people who really want to stay anonymous and they just have something that they want to get rid of and they feel as if there's something attached to them that they're frightened of. Nine times out of 10, the things that people send us don't ever do anything strange for us. But that last 10% is where things get really interesting. And occasionally, there's 1% that changes the way that we think about haunted objects. This turned into a way bigger ordeal than we ever anticipated. I felt like a small kid who was absolutely terrified. It seemed that the larger picture was coming into view. I mean, we basically promised the chrome that we were gonna take it back. I looked at Dana and I said, we can never do this again. We need to do something about this. Shut it. Never did I ever have anything happen like it did with the chrome. I felt like I was literally looking at a living nightmare. We failed. You have no control over her and you have no control over us. Then it became maximum chaos. Oh my God. We bind it to the nails and we release it. <laughs> 